one point where I like to use a GUI based system over a command line system is uh, working with databases. I think, uh, yeah, if you're ever going to be doing this via the command line, um, you know, while it's possible, it's just not the most comfortable environment to work in. So I like to use something called SQL Pro, uh, and that is available at sqlpro.com. Go ahead and download it. I've actually downloaded and installed SQL Pro already. So I've got that on my computer just to save a few minutes. And now I can connect to any database on my computer because uh, in the previous tutorial, we set up uh, Laravel Valet. And during that process, we also installed MySQL. So I can actually connect to any database or uh, to the MySQL server on my local computer by just connecting to 127.0.0.1 using the uh, username of root and an empty string for password. So let's uh, do that now. I'm gonna just call this uh, localhost and uh, let's just put in a host of 127.0.0.1 and a username of root. And if I test this connection, Oops, connection failed. So it looks like my SQL server might not be running just yet. Um, and it does say here that we do need to run this command. So I'm gonna just pop back over to iTerm and run that quick. And okay, now hopefully our servers are running. So let's just test that again. Connection succeeded, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and connect. And now I can actually uh, create a database, add new databases, um, or uh, if I'm a Laravel developer, I'm not even going to be using this very much to create databases because I'm going to be using migrations anyway. But yeah, this is just how you connect to databases on your local machine with uh, something that is rather easy to use, uh, not something like the command line, and also not something that works from uh, a server like uh, PHP my admin or something like that. Anyway, now that uh, you guys have been introduced to SQL Pro, I think I'm going to end the video off here. So I'll see you guys next time. And that is the end of the video. So if you made it this far, there's a couple things that you can do to help me. First of all, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment saying something nice, hopefully. Share this video with your friends because all of that stuff is going to help my channel grow. And I'm also feeling a little lonely. So don't forget to follow me on social media.